today to preempt some of the announcements that will be in the federal budget in uh, a week and a half's time. Uh, I am pleased to say that we agreed and there was endorsement for the Commonwealth's uh, initial uh, announcements when it comes to health of some $2.2 billion of practical measures to strengthen Medicare. One of the things that we need to do is to improve primary care delivery so that it takes pressure off our public hospital systems around the country. And these reforms are practical and will make a difference. Firstly, supporting workforces to work at top of scope, including pharmacists, nurses and paramedics. We need to provide pharmacists with the opportunity uh, to deliver the services that they're capable of. That will provide uh, support and income for community pharmacies, but it will also take pressure off our GPs and off that system as well in the primary healthcare network. We want to expand the nursing workforce to improve access to primary care. The third is improving access to and delivery of after hours deliver of primary care. That will include a, an incentive uh, for doctors, for GPs to stay open in longer hours that will be included in our budget uh, when it's handed down on May 9. We'll introduce My Medicare Patient ID to support wraparound care for patients registered with their local GP through new blended payment models. One of the things that's been identified is patients who will regularly uh, turn up at uh, emergency departments. We want to uh, make sure there's a registration there so that we can reach out. What are the issues that are actually driving those regular presentations? Uh, it might be a mental health issue. It might be alcohol and drug problems. How do we reach out in order to assist people but at the same time take pressure off those emergency departments?